Hello and welcome to Droix. In this video we are showing how to connect your retro gaming handheld to Wi-Fi, how to download and install a new theme and scrape game data. While we are using a GameForce handheld this will work just fine with any Emuilec based device that has Wi-Fi. First, we will connect the device to a Wi-Fi access point. Press Start to bring up the main menu and scroll down to Network Settings and choose that. Scroll down to Enable Wi-Fi and select this option. After a few moments, it will be enabled and options to select the Wi-Fi SSD and key will appear. Select the Wi-Fi SSD option. You can now select your Wi-Fi access point from the list. Next, navigate to the Wi-Fi key option and enter your Wi-Fi access point password. Once you have entered it, navigate to the back menu option and select it. After a few moments, it will connect to your Wi-Fi access point. You can now go back into the network settings to confirm everything is connected OK. So now we have internet access, we can download and install a new theme. Navigate to updates and downloads and choose themes. It will connect online to download a list of available themes which may take a few moments to do. You can then choose a theme to download. For this demo, we will download the popular Carbon theme. Once it has downloaded, go back to the main menu and choose UI Settings. Choose Theme Set and you will see a list of the installed themes. Select the theme that you want to use and then go back one menu. Emuilec will briefly restart and change over to the newly selected theme. Exit the main menu and the new theme will now be displayed. Now we need some game images and text to go with the theme as without them it looks very basic. Press start to open the main menu and choose the scrape option. Highlight scrape from and choose the games DB which is a free scraper that does not require an account to use. Navigate to scrape now. You can now choose to scrape specific systems in the systems menu. For now we will scrape all the games for all systems. Choose start and the game scraping will begin. Depending on the number of games you are scraping this can take some time. So if necessary leave it on charge and check back in a while. Once it has finished scraping you can check the game list to see how it looks. Personally, I prefer a text list with image and game descriptions. This is very easy to change to. Simply press start to access the main menu, navigate to UI settings, then theme configuration. Select the game list view style option and you can change it to another style. I like the detailed view as it provides an image and text description for games. Go back to the game list and it will now be updated to the new view showing a list of games on the side with a box art image and text description if it's available. You can change around the settings to show information such as game screenshots instead of box art for example. We will let you explore the variety of themes and view options. That wraps up this overview of connecting your device to Wi-Fi, installing themes and scraping game data. We hope you have found it useful. If you did, please like and subscribe to keep up to date with our videos. Thanks for watching and we hope to see you in the next video.